Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, I am going to show you how to install Selenium for Python. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I already have shown you how to install Python, how to install PyCharm ID. Now I'm going to show you how to install Selenium for Python. Okay. So after installing Selenium for Python, we can run or write our Selenium automation scripts in this PyCharm ID editor. So to get started, we'll go to the official website of Selenium, open the browser and uh, search for the official website of Selenium that is selenium.dev. You'll be taken to the home page and uh, just click on the downloads. You'll be taken to the downloads page of this official website and scroll down until you see this web driver language bindings. Now click on this link. Okay. Here we have different programming languages under this uh, section that is web driver language binding sections. So C sharp is there, Ruby is there, Java is there, JavaScript is there, Python is there, but we want to install Selenium for Python. So we'll stick to this part. And here you can see some version, the latest version that is available at this moment when I'm recording this session, that is 4.8.2. But in tomorrow, when you are watching the same video, you may not have the exact same version here. There may be some future version, whatever the version is there at that point of time for you, you can go with that version guys. Okay. So for that, click on this link, whatever the version link you see, just click on that. You'll be taken to this page where you can see a command here, pip install Selenium. Here, what does this pip stands for? Pip stands for package installer for Python package installer for Python. So using pip, we can install Selenium guys, but not only Selenium, we can install a lot of other stuff with the help of pip, but how to get this pip? Pip is already there guys. Okay. When you have in the previous session, when you have installed Python automatically along with Python, Python, we got pip. So we don't have to especially focus on how to install pip. Pip is already there or we got pip already when we have installed Python in our machine. Okay. So don't worry about pip. Pip, pip stands for Python install uh, package installer for Python. Okay. Package installer for Python. So remember this guys, because uh, people may ask you like, what is pip? You have to say that package installer for Python. So after that, the, the command is there. Pip install Selenium. You just copy this command guys. Copy this. When you select this option, click this option, it will be copied. Once it is copied, you come back to the PyCharm ID. Select terminal here. Okay. You will see this kind of terminal guys. And here, paste the command or type it manually. Pip install Selenium, you can type it manually or right click here and select paste. This is also fine. And press enter guys. Okay. In a while, you will see that Selenium will be installed in your machine. So it's installing. Successfully installed the Selenium version 4.8.2 came. That's okay. So now we have to write some Selenium code. So after installing guys, it's better to restart your, you know, uh, restart your, uh, PyCharm ID once. So let's, uh, close this, exit this and uh, launch it again. Just it's better to restart. Okay. Once PyCharm ID for the things to work fine. Let the PyCharm ID again launch. After that, we are going to write some Selenium Python code in our PyCharm ID because we already have installed Selenium here. So let's wait for the project to load. And after this project loads, yeah, we are here almost there. So I'll just change the font size here. And here guys, I will be, you know, typing the one statement. Okay. To get started with the uh, Selenium Python, we have to write this statement guys. Okay. That is from Selenium. This is the first line we have to write from Selenium import web driver like this. We have to write. Okay. From Selenium. So for the more on Selenium, you see, you're getting an option like install package here. Okay. Install that Selenium will be installed in your machine now. Let's wait this installation package is going on here for Selenium. Let's wait for this to complete. Initially, you have to, you know, spend some time here, guys. Okay. To make the things working fine, you have to spend some time. Fine. Still installing, guys. Let's wait for the installation to be completed. It's discovering some binary modules. Let's wait. Updating skeletons and all. Let's still wait, scanning installed packages. 
let this uh, you see installed packages selenium got installed successfully now okay in our machine so it's indexing let's wait for the progress to complete guys so almost done almost done it's completed guys it's completed we can close this out and here you see now for the mode on selenium it's working fine for the mode on web driver it's working fine now write down the code for selenium guys okay these two lines i'm going to cover again don't worry so some basic or sample selenium python code i'm writing here don't worry what i'm trying to write i'll use this web driver web driver dot i'll repeat this again guys this code is for sample purpose to see whether we are able to write some selenium python code here and we are able to run it or not that's the only purpose okay i'll simply say chrome put circular brackets here this statement should launch the chrome browser guys if the chrome browser is launching means we are good okay the chrome browser will launch and close firstly so to avoid that i'll write time dot sleep off some five seconds i'll give okay before the browser close whatever the browser that is opening here automatically will be closed immediately uh let me run this right click run this let's see whether this statement uh, from selenium python is running from our pycharm id or not it should launch the chrome browser okay with the help of this statement you see the chrome browser has been launched but it has been closed very fast okay so it should not be closing so much fast okay so i'll do one thing i just mentioned prior time dot sleep but still it is not working mm. Time not sleep. The seconds I have given, but uh, let's give more time. Let's give 10 seconds this time. Let's see what's happening. Run this. The browser has launched, but it's closing very fast, guys. Okay. So that, that's okay, guys. That's okay. We can see the browser at least. So that's enough. Okay. Don't have to worry why it's closing. It's automatically closes, guys. We'll make sure that uh, it will not close in the next uh, thing. Okay. In the com upcoming sessions, we will we'll counter it somehow. But for now, this is the way. Webdriver.chrome, we have to say. This statement from Selenium Python is able to open the Chrome browser. So fine. So this, since this is getting started, where I have to install and show you how to install Selenium for Python. We are done, guys. We are able to run some sample code. These two statements you write and try it out. Okay. Even though you don't understand these two statements, that's also fine, guys. Just write these two st statements blindly and try to run this and see whether the Chrome browser is launching or not. That's enough for this session, guys. So hope, guys, uh, you understood how to install Selenium for Python and how to write your Selenium Python automation scripts in this PyCharm ID and run them. Okay. Some sample Python automation, Selenium Python automation scripts you are able to run. That's enough for this uh, part. In the upcoming sessions, I'm going to explain more about the Selenium Python. Okay, how to write, uh, how to write more statements about Selenium Python. I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions. Till then, see you. Bye bye.